Today on DIY Man, we're building a TV stand that can fit a TV up to 77 inches wide. This particular design will fit well in a corner or flat up against the wall. You're getting sawdust everywhere. Sawdust? You mean man glitter? This particular project costs about $80 to build. If you want to do it without a back, you can do it for about $60. Today we're going to start by making the tabletop. Drill some pocket holes in the 8 foot long 1x12. I'm making a larger board by attaching the 1x3 to the side of this with some pocket screws and wood glue. Let's cut one of the edges of your newly created board to a 45 degree angle. We're also going to cut the other side to a 45 degree angle. The outside of the cut will be 91 inches and the inside should be 63 and 3 quarters of an inch. Now let's cut a 1 by 2 if the outside cuts at 45 degrees. The outside cut will be 92 and a half inches and the inside cut will be 91 inches. I'm attaching this board to the front of the table using wood glue and a small nail gun. Now let's cut the back side out. This is a 1 by 2 with 45 degree angled cuts. The outside of these cuts should be 63 and 3 quarters of an inch. The long edge of this board should go right up against the short edge of your 1 by 12. Let's take a quick measurement on our angled edges. I'm getting 21 and 3 eighths of an inch end to end. Let's cut two 1 by 2s with the angled edges at 45 degrees. Uh, outside edges will be 21 and 3 eighths of an inch. I'll attach these boards to the sides with wood glue and a small nail gun. Make sure your short edges are facing out. I want my table to be exactly 28 inches tall, so I'm cutting four 2x4s that are 27 and a quarter inches long. Measure two and a half inches down on one of the short sides and two inches down on one of the long sides. I'll use a two inch mark to make a line across the board first. Then I'll make another two and a half inch mark and connect those two with the line across the board. I want a more gradual curve at the top of my leg, so I'm using a larger circular object to trace a curve there. And now I'll give the bottom of the leg a round appearance. This will be the top of your leg, and this one will be the bottom. Let's cut this guy out. Now that you have a template, let's cut out the other three. Go ahead and sand your boards down while they're on the ground. Let's drill a couple pocket holes in the top of each one of these legs. Make sure your legs are facing so the holes will be on the inside of your table. I'm attaching these with wood glue and pocket screws. Attach the back legs right in the corner of those 45 degree angles. Then attach the front legs just straight across from those. Let's take the 6 foot 1 by 12 and cut it down to 62 inches. Drill a couple pocket holes in each corner facing forward and back. Measure down 15 inches from the bottom of the table on each of the legs. We're going to use wood glue and pocket screws to join that 1x12 just flush with the bottom of that line. Make sure your 1x12 sits inside of the leg 3 quarters of an inch on each side. That way we can add a piece of trim later. Let's take a quick measurement between all four legs. I've got 58 and 5 eighths and 11 and a quarter. Cut two 1x2s to each of those lengths. Now just attach them flush with the top of the 1x12 with wood glue and some small finishing nails.
If you're not attaching it back to this TV stand, your next step is to fill in any holes you might have and sand it down really good. Then you could skip this next part and move on to the finishing. This is what it'll look like before adding the back. If you want a back on your TV stand, the next step will be to cut a 1x2 to 58 and 5 8 inches. You'll want to attach this piece with some wood glue and some small finishing nails. It needs to fit inside the tabletop, just flush with the back legs. You're also going to need two 1x2s that are cut to 27 inches that angle out 45 degrees on one side. When you attach these, make sure the pointy edges are pointed towards the center. Take a measurement on this little section right here and cut a board out that would fit perfectly there. Now cut two more pieces out that are 6 inches in total length with 45 degree angles facing the same direction. This is how these three pieces will fit together. Now simply attach these in this notched out section. Now cut out a piece of quarter inch plywood that'll fit up flush up against the bottom of your tabletop. You want it to overhang your openings by about a half to one inch all around. My plywood was 61 inches wide and 15 inches tall. Don't forget to mark where your little cable box will be. I just cut it out about a half inch past where I marked it. I stained the areas where the back's going to go before I attached it. That way it's easier to get in the cracks and crevices. I used a small staple gun to attach my back. Then simply continue staining. This is dark walnut again. To finish the table, I brushed on a coat of polyurethane. It's as simple as that guys, and please subscribe to my channel for more great DIY videos. Yeah. <laughs>